Hello everybody and welcome to another video and in this video we're going to be looking at SIRDs. So this is the first video on this topic. So I'm just going to go through an introduction to what SIRDs are and we're just going to go through a few examples with different numbers and identify whether they're SIRDs or not. So first of all, what is a SIRD? So it's quite hard to give a definition of what a SIRD is. It's easier to go through exam examples. But basically, if we've got a root, so like a square root or a cube root or any, any type of root, and we cannot write that root as a fraction, so we can't simplify it to a fraction, then we call it a SIRD. So let's just go through some examples. First of all, let's say we've got the number, the square root of 2. Now, can we simplify this? Can we write this as a fraction? Well, the square root of 2, we can't really calculate that in our heads. So two numbers that multiply together to get 2. So we're going to use a calculator for this. So if I type in the square root of 2 in a calculator and convert that to a decimal, it gives me an answer of 1.414213562. So this is what comes up on the calculator display, but this isn't the exact answer because the calculator is only capable of displaying this number of decimal uh, places. So the real answer to the square root of 2 is this number, but it keeps going on and on and on forever. So this decimal just keeps going on and on and on, and it never stops. And it also never repeats. So there's never a pattern that repeats. So you'll get some um, numbers that are recurring decimals. This isn't one of those. So this just keeps going on and on and on. Um, and because it keeps going on and on and on, we cannot write this as a fraction. So we would call this a third. So this is a third. So it's any number that cannot be written as a fraction. So that's one example. Let me give you another example. Let's say we had the square root of 3. And again, let's type this into a calculator. So the square root of 3, we get an answer of 1.732. 0.532.050808. And just like the one above, this keeps going on and on forever. So because we can't write this as a fraction, this is also called a third. So the square root of 2 and the square root of 3 are both thirds. And you might be wondering, well, is the square root of any number a third? Well, no, obviously not. So, for example, if we had the square root of 4, what is the square root of 4? Well, we can simplify this. The square root of 4 is just 2. If you think about two numbers that multiply together to get 4, well, 2 times 2 is 4. So the square root of 4 is 2. So we can clearly see that this is definitely not a third. So this one is not a third because we can write it as an integer in this case, but also we can write it as a fraction. We can just say that that is 2 over 1. So as long as we can write the, uh, the number as a fraction, then it is not a third. So let me give you an, another example. What about if we had the square root of 1 quarter? So think about, what, are there two numbers that multiply together to get a quarter? Well, yes, there are. A half. The answer for this, you could type this into a calculator and it will give you the answer of a half because a half times a half is a quarter. So what we've got here, this is also not a third. Not a third. Okay, it's the square of a quarter we can simplify to a half. Okay, this time, instead of picking a square root, let's say the cube root. So the cube root of 11. Now, I don't know what the cube root of 11 is. Let's type that into the calculator. So cube root of 11, and then convert that to a decimal. We get 2.223980091. And again, this isn't the, the exact answer. This number, again, goes on forever. So I'm just going to put three dots. Uh, so this we can't write this as, as a fraction. So this is also a third. OK, so any number, any decimal that goes on and on and on forever, we can never write that as a fraction. So they always be thirds. OK, let's pick another one. So let's say the cube root of, let's say the cube root of 64. Now, you might think this is a third, but actually we can evaluate this. The cube root of 64, that is 4. Because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So this here is not a third. 
not a third. And just uh, again, to follow the same pattern, we could write this as a fraction. We could write this as four over one. Okay, let's do one more. Let's say we wanted to calculate the square root of 0 0.01. Let me just extend my square root. So is this a third or is this not a third? Well, we could type it into the calculator. So I'm going to type it in the square root of 0 0.01. And we get 0 0.1. Okay, and you might not have needed the calculator. So 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1 is 0 0.01. So here we can, again, we can write this as a fraction. This is the same as 1 tenth. So because we can write it as a fraction, this is not, not a third. So I've just written out here, a third is a root. So a square root, cube root, etc. That cannot be simplified into a fraction. So hopefully this video was just a nice gentle introduction to what a third is. In the next video, we're going to do a bit of arithmetic with thirds. And specifically, we're going to fo focus on multiplying and dividing thirds. So hopefully you will join me then. And thanks again for watching. Take care.